speak to those who are troubled. I will be recording our studies and our session with my Society Can't Understand Me pen and my scum notebook. Who is our first patient? Good afternoon, Max World. How are you doing today? Uh, bro, my problem is, bro, I be too much in my head. I got two things, actually. Like, I be stuck in my head too much about shit that don't matter, bro. Why do you feel like you're overthinking things? I don't know, bro. I just be in my head about, like, anything that really got to do with, like, what I'm going to do next in my life. You feel me? Okay, so let's dive deeper. How old are you, Max? I'm 19. Okay. Do you have any passions, any dreams, any goals that you're chasing? Uh, yeah, I be trying to stream. But I'm not consistent yet, but I be trying to get myself into that thing, but I just be too lazy, or I just be too much in my head about shit, you know? Okay, so let's talk about your desire to stream. What's stopping you from streaming outside of being lazy? What's the too much in your head stuff? It's the, it's the um, like, viewership, but I know, and I tell myself this all the time, it's not going to happen overnight. But I feel like when I tell myself, it's just, like, it's in one year, out the other. You feel me? So, let me give you a little bit of advice. If you live for the praise, you'll die by the booze. You That's can't go into something like this with expectations for viewership, expectations for how people will receive you, or expectations for the things that you'll gain. You have to go into this with love and an open mind because you love not being a streamer, but entertaining others. Your mind, it's not that you have, you're lazy or that you're not meant to be a streamer. It's just that your mindset's not properly lined up for the things that you want. You feel me? Before yeah. you become a person, you have to believe you're that person. Right now, what your mind is telling you that you're, you're not a streamer because you're not pulling however many views. You feel me? But that's the wrong mindset because if you think that way, you'll never be what you want to be. You have to think that you deserve things before you get them so that way your energies and your chakras will line up and lead you to the place that you need to be. A wonderful thing I heard in a video once about overthinking and anxieties was that when you're in a dark, foggy forest and you can't see ahead of yourself, if you look down, you'll see your feet. As long as you can see your next step, take it. Because that's all you need is one step. And you'll take that step. And then you'll take another step. And then you'll continue on until you've made it to where you need to be. A lot of times people get caught up in the end goal rather than enjoying the journey. It's something that I've dealt with myself. As long as you continue to understand that the things that you're attaining will come in time, you just have to trust the process. It'll make it so much easier. Yeah, because when I first started it, I like or when I first wanted to do it, it was because I saw you, Rage, Bruce, like all these niggas having fun with it. And that's what I wanted. I just want to have fun. But then over time was like, as I got older, I saw like, I, I need to get money for my family and shit. You feel me? So then it kind of changed. But then recently I saw, I saw some shit with like the Herbo and talking about uh, Juice. He just did shit for fun. And that were like, that shit brought me back to why I wanted to start screaming. So then after that, I was like, damn, bro, like, I gotta actually start doing this to, like, actually do it for fun and not for the money and shit. But then sometimes I get, I go back to that set, like, that mindset of for the money and it just be fucking with me. That's why you do other things. You work mm -hmm. and you grind yeah, while you chase your goal. So that way, at some point in your time, your goals and dreams are what you work towards, are what you become. You feel me? I was working at Home Depot, waking up at five in the morning getting off at 12 p.m. in the afternoon and then coming home and streaming at two. Rinse and repeat. Because I knew that Home Depot wasn't my end. It was just a beginning. So I had to go through those moments. I had to overcome that to become what I am today. You feel me? Nothing happens overnight. Don't let social media, don't let the things you see other people doing fool you into believing that. Everybody that has or obtained something failed a million times before they got it. They don't talk about the failures. They talk about the one time you won. Keep chasing your dreams, man. It's hard. If it was easy, everybody would do it. But it's not. And the ones that get it are the ones that understand that this shit's hard. But I'm going to push through it because I'd rather it be hard and difficult and I get it than I quit on it and be like, what if? What if you had just said, fuck it and just chill out? 
What if you had said fuck it and just I don't give a fuck what niggas think about me. I don't care about what niggas think about what I'm doing. I just want to get it. I'm telling you. I tell niggas all the time. When I first started streaming, I used to be embarrassed to post my streaming link on Twitter because niggas would be like, that nigga gets no views. I used to be like, damn, I don't want to post my shit. I don't, I, I'm only getting five viewers. I don't want niggas to like clown me or nothing. And I had to get over that. It's part of the process, man. I'm telling you. So don't worry about what niggas think. It's all about what you think. And if you think you could do this shit, if you think you can be that person, do it. I appreciate you, TJ. No problem, no problem. We, we thank you for coming up. And if you want to schedule a second appointment, just tap in with my uh, secretary, Foran, and he'll get you right. All right, Foran, uh, can you bring in the next uh, patient? Thank you. We appreciate you coming up. Oh, shit. How you doing, Walk? I'm good. How, how y'all? I'm good. What's what's going on? What's brought you to uh, Scum Sessions today? So, here's my situation. I've been with someone for over five years. I've grown comfortable and used to their presence. And now that they're gone, I want to learn how to adjust to other people. Okay. So, let's first things first dive into the situation that caused you to be separated from this person. Can you speak a little bit about that? Well, we slowly started to drift apart. Okay. And when you guys uh, ended things, did you end them properly or was it kind of muddy? Very muddy. Okay. So now, do you feel as though if you had a second chance at ending things properly, that you'd go back and fix it? Oh, by all means, but okay. I don't like to look at the past. Okay, that's a, a very mature way of seeing it. But when you're moving on, you have to make sure that you're not dragging your past with you. If you feel like there's resentment or feelings of unspoken issues or things that you want to resolve before you move on, you have to handle that or else everything moving forward will be a remnant of what you had in the past because your mind is still there subconsciously. Get what I'm saying? So what do I do? So now let's slow down before we jump to conclusions or answers. Let's first figure out the problem we're facing. All right. So what issues do you feel like is unresolved with this person that you're no longer seeing? Honestly, I felt <laughs> that she just went off and did her own thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can we dive deeper into that? What do you mean she went off and did her own thing? It's a very complicated situation. This is a safe space. So. Did she fuck another nigga? Oh, uh, hell no. Nah. Are you sure? It's a lot worse than that. Okay, so, on the night that we broke up, I was sleeping. And in the morning, I got a message from her family members. And they showed me a very young picture of her with a certificate. She killed herself the night of. I'm sorry to hear that. Before we continue on, I want to say rest in peace to your partner who tragically passed away. Did you, you guys broke up the night before she did it? Yeah. And like, this is obviously if this is too personal, you don't have to speak on it, but do you feel some sort of responsibility maybe for what transpired with her? Absolutely. Okay. First things first, what I wanna say is that you are not responsible. You do not hold any responsibility or you can't beat yourself up over what happened or feel as though it's your fault because of the situation that you guys were in. You're not guilty or need to be held accountable for what happened to her. Rest in peace to her soul and I pray that her family finds peace but the fear of somebody being emotionally unstable shouldn't stop you from separating yourself from them. And I know that sounds harsh, and I know that sounds a little extreme, but you also have to think about yourself. I understand a little bit more why it's harder for you to move forward in life because you're dealing with the lingering emotions from somebody who you feel like time got cut short and you weren't able to properly speak on those emotions. By the way, chat, I am not a licensed therapist. I'm just speaking to people and giving advice where I can. 
you don't have to take my advice but i'm just trying to help motherfuckers if they're going through something and they feel like they need somebody to talk to but continuing on have you ever tried journaling i've been i was consistent for a little bit then i dropped off from thinking of getting back into it that might be a good way to talk about your feelings express what's going on writing is a great way to get things off your mind that you don't know how to say so i feel like that's something that you could continue to pick back up and it might help have you tried talking to somebody professionally i know you're talking to me right now but like actually getting some help speaking with a therapist about your issues therapy is a great resource that a lot of people don't get to use yeah i signed i've signed up but i've i've been struggling to call it's just it's just taking a minute okay so what i would say is take the time even if it's just one try it it'll really help i promise you it will feel me it might seem tough at first it might be a little awkward telling the things that you're going through to a stranger but i really believe that therapy is a great way to help yourself okay I, I appreciate this talk. I think I, I think I just really need to get this off my chest. I understand, man. You feel me? Sometimes it's hard to open up. It's hard to tell people that you're vulnerable and that you feel a certain way. But everybody's human. Everybody has moments in time where they don't understand who they are and they doubt themselves. Even me. You feel me? I've I've strongly considered therapy before. Cause I feel like I have certain issues that I'm not completely coming to terms with or that because of everything that I'm doing in life, I feel like I could push back. But here's things that you need to speak on to really be a complete version of yourself. And no one should ever knock you for looking for help. You feel me? We're all human. Nobody's perfect. I appreciate all this. Of course, man. I'm gonna catch y'all later. I'm gonna be in the, the, art, the art channel doing my thing. All right, man, post your art. We'll, we'll go through it sometime. Appreciate that. I'll catch y'all later. All right, man. All right, foreign. Bring up the next person. What's going on, Rager? All right, what's good? What's up? How you doing, man? Uh, Doing all right-ish, I guess. How you doing, man? I'm good, man. You know, breathing, alive, all in yeah. me. What's Bless. going on, man? What you got to talk about? Kind of a long story. I've been trying to, I've been meaning to get to you about this since like November. But, uh, yeah, okay, I'm listening. I apologize yeah. for taking too long. No, I know you're a busy man. You'd be, you know, out there talking to the milks to the two percent. So, I feel you. I feel you. Um, I got a girl. I'm gonna try and make this long story short. So, I got my girl. She, uh, she's cool. We've been, we've known each other for like four years and we got into like a rough patch. I guess a little while ago, maybe what fall semester 2020, 21. So fall 2021, we were in college. We had a bit of a falling out because I had this lab partner, right? We we're going to call my lab partner, Stephanie, a little Latina thing. And we was in class. We was joking around, having a good time, but it was not, nothing ever happened. We'd have like studies. I go over to her place. My girl would text me like, where you at? I'm like, oh, I'm at a Stephanie studying for class. Like, da, da, da. Like, what do you mean it's 11 a.m.? Uh, well, oh, we just, you know, she was cool. She was cool. Nothing ever happened. Me and my girl break up over winter break, right? Okay. The first thing I do, I go over to Stephanie. I was like, yo, what's good? You know, like me and my girl broke up. She's like, oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. You know, let me make you some rice and beans and chicken. And we went Netflix and chilled. And then we hooked up and we was hooking up for like two, three months. Then somehow, you know, I went out on another date with my ex at the time and we kind of recouped things and we we're like, all right, yeah, let's give it another try. But we was never really official, but there was a point, a span of like a month or two where my, I was seeing a Stephanie and my girl at the same time. Cause it was kind of complicated. You know, we had a messy breakup and a messy like get back together, if that makes sense. And uh, we were good. I had to kind of cut things off with this Stephanie to get serious with my girl. I was like, yo, I got to give this a try. Um, but where I really messed up was I ended up smashing a Stephanie's roommate. And that's where she was like, I can't fuck with you no more. You, yeah, how can you do this to me? I thought we had something. And I was just like, well, you know, her roommate was feeling me. We were both drunk. Uh, it, just, it just happened. It just happened. 
So now I'm just fully committed with my girl. And uh, I actually proposed in October. I was like, yeah, you know what? She's been down for me. She's been my ride or die for four months, five months. I mean, sorry, four or five years. You know, proposed in October. We're thinking of tying the knot by the end of this year. We don't know when. We haven't set a date yet. But as Stephanie came back, she's like, I saw you got engaged. Did you ever tell you? She's like death threats, right? Not death threats, but she's threatened. Like, did you ever tell your girl about us, about what happened? And I did tell her. But the biggest thing that I'm having an issue over is that when I told my girl about a Stephanie, that yeah, I hit up a Stephanie three, four, five, six times. She told me about, oh yeah, there was this one time. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. Please don't be mad. There was this one time I hooked up with one of your friends from high school and we did it all night, nonstop, all night. And I was like, fuck. Now I don't know what to do. Because she told me this after I proposed. Now I kind of want out. Is that fucked up? So I'm going to give you two answers. I'm going to give you the real answer, the the appropriate mm-hmm. answer, and I'm going to tell you what a nigga like me would do. Mm-hmm. So first things first, the real answer, it's the theory of equivalent exchange. You can't be mad at her for going off and doing something. Granted, the friend thing, crazy, right? Yeah. yeah but you fuck- were, you both were single. Mm-hmm. You both were doing what you had to do, and mm-hmm. you did what you had to do. You feel me? Yeah. In all fairness, you knocked down two bitches. She only knocked down one nigga. One. It was one, one nigga one time, and I was probably with Stephanie six, seven times. I don't know how many times. Exactly. So if we're being absolutely honest, you don't have a reason to be mad. You feel me? In all I fairness, know. it seems to me like y'all both made decisions as single individuals that weren't wrong you feel me yeah i know it was just the way that she said it when she told me after she didn't she didn't tell me till after i proposed she just told me a couple months ago january and she was like yeah and we did it all night and i know how she'd be i know she didn't sleep that night i just know what was going on so it hurt you know what i mean as i'm as i'm sure it hurt her to hear about me and the stuff nigga said he know his bitch is a freak <sighs> wicked work it was just it just sucked Nah, um, like I said, man, you shouldn't let her past dictate y'all future. Mm-hmm. You feel me? It's not yeah. like she out here and she went and got a train ran on her. All right. Yeah. She had yeah. sexual intercourse with another human being that she was feeling in the moment. If we're being absolutely honest, she probably mm-hmm. was hurt behind you. And if we're being completely honest, she did it to get back at you because she knew yeah. what you were doing. You feel me? She wanted to hurt you mm-hmm. and she succeeded in doing that. You feel me? Yeah. So her goal was there. I'm, I tell niggas all the time. Women are kamikaze pilots, bro. They will destroy <laughs> you and themselves all in it as long as you feel the way they felt. That's all yeah. it is. She just wanted you to feel how she felt. She'll, she, she, I'm telling you, she she did the, she was wicked with it. You see how yeah. she told you? We did it yeah, all she night. Didn't she, didn't, she, didn't, she, she said she, said she didn't sleep. That. She said it fell out. She put it back in. Stop, stop, stop. I that nigga, that, that nigga, that nigga slapped it on her tongue and she said, uh. Yeah, the wound but is still there. The yeah, wound is still there. It's still gone. fresh. Don't worry. We're going to put our thumb in it and turn it a little bit. Right? That nigga nutted in mm-hmm. her. All right, man. I'm, you about to, I'm, a, I'm, no, 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 no. All right, all right. Relax, <laughs> relax, relax. Now, here's my answer as a real nigga. If you don't kick that bitch out your crib, what, 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 yeah. what, 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 what the weekend said? I don't want to know. If you're playing oh, me, man. please don't let it show. Cause Dude, my heart show. can't take it anymore. Listen, bro. A woman who will let you know how she did you dirt is a woman who don't care about you, King. That's just the way I see it. If you're gonna she do me, look. if you're gonna do me dirt, have so much respect for me, you don't want me to find out because you know it ain't with I'm not with that bullshit. You better keep that shit to yourself. Yeah, I honestly don't You better you know, keep that shit split. to yourself. Don't tell me I- what the fuck you did. Life would have been better if I never knew. Honestly, if I could go back and just not know, I would have probably been happier. I'm telling you, ignorant is bliss. Cause now every time you lay with her, in your mm. head you gonna think about that nigga hands on her back. I bet she got back dimples, don't she? She do. He put her thumb. He put his thumbs in her back dimples and was going to town. She was laid on her stomach, biting the pillow. She didn't uh. think about you in that moment. All she could think about is this: the nigga that's killing me. This the nigga that's doing me the best way. In, out, in, out. She was creaming and squirting and farting and busting on his shit. 
I bet you she. I bet you she told. I bet you she told you he made her come. She was up all night. Women not fucking no nigga who not making them come all night, all day long. That's she didn't right. sleep. She didn't go to sleep till six in the morning. Woke up at three in that nigga bed happily. Big T-shirt on and panties. His shirt. His 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 high the high school football jersey. Now it's definitely hit me back up. What if I just got a little little? No, that's not even revenge. That's just me being toxic. I, I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't try and get a little. Listen to me, side. King. I might as well just dip out and then get see about some side action. Now I'm gonna tell you this right here. I'm gonna give you two answers: the honest one and then the real nigga one. If you're not appreciating what's going on, just leave, man. Just let it be. Ain't no reason trying to get back at nobody. Life's too short to hold grudges. You feel me? Just let it be. Hey, man. You know what? All in all, it was cool. I respect what you did and I'll forever love you, but I, I personally, I'm just not mature enough to look past what you did, especially for marriage. You yeah, I mean? but you're too far gone now that I already, uh, like, nope. I, we're engaged. No, nope, 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 nope. Never, nothing is ever too far gone. You could have a kid with that woman, leave her. If you don't wanna, if you don't wanna rock with her, just let it be what it is, bro. That's all it is, you feel me? It is what it is. I really don't got I'm probably gonna be thinking about this the rest of our marriage I'm gonna be like man there was that one time when dude was all night all night. it's gonna be 10 years from now I'm still gonna be talking about all night you I'm know? saying bro all night is crazy you know all night is you know what it is I to do. take dick for seven hours it wasn't like oh she did she didn't tell me like oh we fell asleep and we woke back up and did it again no she didn't her eyes didn't shut right. unless he was inside it in that moment she was thinking about starting a family with that nigga he said, can I give you a baby? She said, yes. You ever been in a situation like where you're at a job and you're just trying to find a reason to quit the job? Like, oh man, you know what I'm talking about? Like, oh, I mm -hmm, need a reason mm -hmm, to like. Mm -hmm. that's, if that's you're a, looking that's for a reason, that's all the right. reason you need. You gonna be you gonna be 30 years old, laid up with her thinking about some, hey, was his dick bigger? Yes, now go to sleep. You gotta understand, anytime you niggas get in an argument, that nigga dick, that's why I was his watch, dick was better than yours. Let it go, bro. Yeah, I'm let it go. As Stephanie it, would never do you like this. As Stephanie trying to slide back on you after you fucked her homegirl. That's a real I'm one. Yeah. That's a real ride or die. That's all I'm saying. Thanks for the thanks for the insight. No Big problem, man. Advice. I hope you figure it out. Leave that trifling I'm, woman alone. I'm, it's not your bitch. It's just your turn. The thing is, I'm I, I know you're fighting all the allegations, but I, I'm a, I'm a proud milkman. Nah, she's 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 she's, yeah, she's uh she's for the culture and all this good jazz yeah wait your girlfriend's a white woman yeah she yeah my yeah, fiance, yeah, high, yeah high school, wait your high school homie's a black man he is he is leave that lady and you know what's wicked too if she told you about one there were others there nah. were others no, no, no. Yeah. Hear me out. Hear me out. Wait, wait, wait. I have to tell her all the time. I have to tell her all about his reference. So Listen, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. The only reason she told you about that nigga is because y'all are engaged and she knew it would come up. Because that nigga... Listen, bro. That was your homie. He would have came to you and be like, hey, bro. I know you finna get married to her, but I knocked it down while y'all was single. That is the only reason. The only reason she told you about it. Because the potential you finding out was there yeah think about all the other ones she's not telling you about all the link ups where niggas slapped it on her pussy and she was like mm. niggas was slapping it and it was making the look we was sound. looking like months how much how, how how much could she how much could how far could she have gotten ran through in three months a lot. do you do do you really need to ask me that question son no no i don't, don't do you me. honestly need to ask me that question three months is a long time Three months is a long time. Three months, months is a very long time. And it's not like for women, she get dick when she want it. Mm -hmm. Three months is a long time, man. 90 days. You could do a lot in 90 days. All right, man. I got a lot to think about. I'm going to update you. I'm I will be here you. for your session next week. Uh, just pencil it mm -hmm. in. Tap in with my nigga Foreign. He's going to pencil in you for another session. And I thank you yeah, for coming out, man. Yep. I appreciate you. I'll see y'all. No problem, man. Have a wonderful day. You too. All right, foreign. That was our last session.